politicians really, it's like, like the douchiest nerd in your high school class got into politics. Everybody knows politicians are like people know, they're like cops, nobody wants to hang out with them. <laughs> so, sorry if you're a cop, I didn't mean that. I'm sure you're wonderful. <laughs> well said, Tori. Now, I looked at the uh, cover uh, art on the album, mm -hmm. and uh, it struck me because mm -hmm. I'm a guy from the 60s. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit before. <laughs> we won't even talk and, about it. Uh, I, I noticed that you have a picture of Habitat 67. What's yeah. that all about? Well, you know, it sort of ties in with the title of the album, The North, and those, those buildings in Montreal, Habitat 67 and, and the Big O and stuff. They come from a time in Canada's history when Canada was quite a utopian society. There was a lot of big public projects, there was a kind of dream of the future, and there was a um, commitment to the idea that of the great society, of a society where everybody could participate and public life meant something. And we find ourselves now in country that is run by a man who wants to turn this into an oligarchy, wants to turn it into a, an oil manufacturer, um, and doesn't care about the history of Canada as an open place and a dreaming place and a, um, a reaching place. He's a small-minded, ugly little man, and I don't want my Canada to be that. That's not what the North is to me. The North is open, the North is free, the North is big and dreams big and I think uh, we find ourselves at this period where we're being asked to live in fear and have our expectations be small and monetary and so we want to try and evoke the spirit of what we feel Canada really is which is a place that where silly buildings get built because we just want to have something beautiful on our landscape and um, you know, that, that's what the north is to me so it was a way of redefining I guess what, what this country is.